physical force were at work here. I'm actually frightened, Red Rider. And I have a hunch that's the purpose behind all this. Someone is trying to scare you off the place. But why? They want it for themselves. Oh, that's absurd, Red. But assuming there was someone who wanted the ranch, how could he contrive to have Bert Bagley accidentally shoot himself while climbing through a fence? He couldn't. But suppose Bert didn't shoot himself accidentally. And suppose Campbell is only pretending to be your friend. You think that's the case? I just know that there were several things in connection with yesterday's events that have caused me to do some mighty tall thinking. like you've got yourself some company, Miss Ruth. Well, that's odd. Who'd be coming by at this hour? Well, since you're having a caller, I expect that little beaver and I'd better van move. Oh, no, don't go, please. Okay. Why's Mr. Campbell? Hello there. Good evening, Miss Rankin. I hope you forgive me bothering you at this late hour. You're always welcome here. Thank you. I just learned tonight that the carelessness of some of my hands caused your cattle to stampede yesterday. I was so upset about it, I had to come right over. I just can't understand them boys doing a trick like that. Well, they just didn't think, Mr. Campbell. But they're supposed to think. Why, it might have cost you your entire herd, Miss Rankin. But it didn't, so you mustn't feel too badly about it. But I do. And now I've made up my mind it's high time you got off this ranch, Miss Rankin. Got so it ain't safe. Something might happen to you next. Well, yes, I, I suppose so. I told you I'd take the place off your hands, and now I'm prepared to do it. I'll go into town and arrange about the deed at the bank tomorrow morning, if that's agreeable. Yes, I I suppose it's best. You're a very brave young woman to stay as long as you have. Don't know how you've managed to keep up your courage through all this. She just doesn't scare very easy. Oh, I beg your pardon. I, I didn't notice there was someone with you, Miss Rankin. It's so dark. I'd, uh, I'd like to make you acquainted with Red Ryder. This is Mr. Campbell, my neighbor, Red. Red Ryder. Well, well, this is an unexpected pleasure. I'm very proud to know you, Ryder. Glad to know you. I've heard a great deal of your exploits over in the Painted Valley country. <laughs> See how your fame has traveled, Red? <laughs> Are you acquainted in Painted Valley, Mr. Campbell? Uh, just slightly, Mr. Ryder. Just very, very slightly. Happen to know Ace Hanlon? 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 Yeah. You can't say that I do. Oh. Heavens, Mr. Campbell, what is it? Are you ill? Oh, it's this heart of mine. It's acting up. The doctors have warned me time and again, but it's it's mighty hard for a man who's been riding Bronx all his life to settle down in a rocking chair. You certainly look husky enough. That's what makes it so difficult to bear. I've always been such an active person. Oh, Red, you'd better ride back with Mr. Campbell. He might become ill on the way, and, oh, that would be awful, out on that trail alone at night. Well, Sure. Tell you the truth, I shall feel much better if he does. I'll throw a saddle on Thunder and be ready in a jiffy. Me go on too. No, little beaver, I want you to stay here and look after Miss Rankin. With Bert laid up in the bunkhouse, she'll be practically alone. Yes. Yes, I heard about that unfortunate occurrence. Too bad. Too bad. Now that you have Red Rider on the place, Miss Rankin, I'm sure your troubles will soon be over. safely, Ryder. Thanks to you. Go right in, my boy. I'd better get along back. Nonsense. You can come in long enough to get warmed up a little. Well, all right, but only for a minute. Do you have a match, Ryder? Match? Yes, I've got a match. I wonder if you'd be so kind as to light the lamp for me. I still feel a bit shaky. Why, sure. It's on that big table in the center of the room. I found it. Now, just a second. <coughs> oh. That took you by surprise, huh, Ryder? But don't worry, my boy. Your troubles will soon be over, too. So, Mr. Ryder, when your body is found at the bottom of the cliff, it will appear as though you'd lost your way in the storm and plunged to your death when your horse missed his footing. 
Just another accident to add to the mystery of the hoodoo rage. <laughs> Is that the way you managed all of them? Only the method varied. Hold on. Don't move out of that chair, Ryder. You'd force me to shoot you with your own gun. I don't care to do that. It lacks originality. If you're going to kill me, why don't you do it and get it over with? There isn't much point in my sitting here listening to you crow over your cleverness. But it was pretty clever, don't you think so, Ryder? Very clever. If your man Bert Bagley hadn't bungled on his part, I might never have figured it out. That was careless of him. Just shows you how the little things will trip a man up. Yes, and Bagley paid for his forgetfulness. Next time it won't be in the foot. Now, who the devil... Here you are, Ryder. And no tricks, or I'll let you have it. Who's there? Who's out there, I say? Me, Little Beaver. Want to see your Meg Ryder? <laughs> Why, sure. Sure, sure. You can see him. I'll let you right in. You'll never harm that kid, Kemp. Oh. Red Ryder! Come on, Little Beaver. Those fire tongs did the trick. He's out colder than the mackerel. Come quick, Red Ryder. Men come take him lady away. She plenty afraid. Someone took Miss Rankin away. Oh. Uh. We think I'm going to make Lady plenty dead. Then we've got to get going, little beaver. I'll tie this coyote up so he can't get away. Then we'll hit the trail. Can you make out their tracks, little beaver? No, Red Rider. No tracks. Try, son. You've got to try. You hold a lantern close to ground. Oh, that good now. It looks pretty hopeless to me. No. Right here, soft ground. See tracks? Not smooth like a mother places. Horses walk here, maybe hour ago. Then we must be on their trail. Hurry, little beaver, hurry. Look, just ahead there, a pinpoint of light. See it? We see him. Think it may be line camp. Anyway, it's a cabin with a light inside. Whoever's in there hung a blanket or something on the window. That spot of light is shining through a hole in it. I'll put out the lantern and we'll slip up there quietly. I've got a hunch the people we're looking for are in that shack. What we do, Red Rider? Well, when you're trying to rot out a mess of pests, you usually smoke them out. That's what we'll do. No savvy. There must be some burlap sacks around the shack. We'll search them out. Douse them with coal oil from this lantern. Stick the whole thing under the cabin. Then I'll get them one at a time when they come out. Let's get busy. What's the matter with you rats? You turned yellow or something? It wasn't so old-fired squeamish when we wiped out the rest of them. Yeah, but look, Cash, killing men is one thing, killing women is something else again. And I tell you, I ain't having any part of it. Oh, yes, you are. You're obeying orders. If you don't, it's going to be just too bad for you, Leary. I yeah. agree with Leary, Cash. I don't hang for this job none. And the same goes for you too, Slim. We'll both do as you're told. This ranking girl ain't never done nothing to us, or to Campbell, for that matter. Well, who said she had? She's in the way, that's all. You think Campbell wants to pay full price for that ranch when he can get it dirt cheap at a sheriff's sale? Mm, well, what's the plan, Cash? If we, uh... Hey, I smell smoke. Uh, that's just one it. Yeah. I smell it, too. It's what? pouring up through the floor. The cabin's on fire. Uh, well, come on, get out of here quick. Uh, wait, look, wait, wait, what about the girl? Yeah, leave her in there. It's a good way to any in it. Now, come on, both of you. Come on, we're we're coming, coming, coming. Cash. You sheep-killing coyote. Hey, you. Cash, what'd you say? No, for the next one. Thought I heard you call You're him. next. Oh. Little Beaver, get hey. in the shack and get Miss Ruth. She must be tied up in there. Uh, me get her. Smoke Slim, me. where'd you go? And you're number three. <laughs> Red Rider, what are you doing here? Give you three guesses. <coughs> I reckon that does it. Now, don't move any of you, or you'll be creased up with hot lead. Yeah, what? What hit me? What happened? Stay right where you are. Got a Miss Ruth, Red Rider. She tied up. I thought so. Are you all right, Miss Ruth? Yes, I, I'm all right, Red. And now that I know what I'm fighting, I'm not afraid anymore. That's the talk. And believe me, I got enough on Campbell and his outfit to send them all to the Hooskar. Who's go? Why that red rider? That's the jail, little beaver. Here, Thunder. Oh, me know him. That place where send them bad boys. Come on, Miss Ruth. I'll take you with me on Thunder. 
Little Beaver, you follow on Papoose. We'll get Campbell and then come back for the rest. All right, Thunder, hit that trail. Come on, Thunder! Now that Red Rider has saved Ruth Rankin from losing her Pecos Valley cattle ranch, Red Rider and Little Beaver are off to more new and thrilling adventures. When next we meet them, they'll be heading down along the Pecos River toward Doby Town, a place where hard-riding, two-fisted men are never too anxious to meet strangers. 